we are because everything is good please lie yourselves down get yourself nice and comfortable on the mat um, as always whatever way suits you guys if you like to lie down with the legs stretched out feel free if you like to keep a bend on the knees and the feet hips distance you can let those knees knock in together if you want take some pressure off the low back however you find yourself comfortable on the mat please go to that space and as you go to that space I just want to quickly run through to remind you guys that any practices that you do with me online, me as Michelle McGrath or me as Simply Yoga Ireland, I do not, cannot and will not take any responsibility or liability for any injuries that may occur during the practice. I cannot physically see what you are, do, you are doing, um, but I would hope that you're practicing with kindness to your body. If something does not feel right, then it's not right for you on that day, even if it's something that you know your body can handle. Um, so please be respectful of your body. Please listen in to your body at all times. Give a little bit of self-inquiry throughout your practice. And it's one of our stages of yoga. So having that self-inquiry, checking in with yourself, it's a practice in itself. So bringing it into the physical practice of yoga. Can be very very powerful as well so guys let's settle ourselves down as much as you possibly can i feel like i just talked 17 miles an hour so let's just take a little chill time allow your body to soften into the earth allow your eyes to come to a soft close and just let yourself pause Allow your entire body to melt. Let's together take one deep cleansing breath. We'll take a long inhale, fill the lungs right up to the top. Hold, open your mouth and exhale, release. Now let yourself settle into the earth. As you bring your awareness through your physical body, take that moment for self-inquiry. How do you arrive on your mat today? If you're working through pains or injuries, if you're working through anything in your body, treatments that you're going through, anything, please notice them, but notice them with kindness. Just remind yourself to be more cautious in these areas. But they're no different. It's not good or bad. There's no right or wrong here. Taking a check in mentally and emotionally. How do you arrive today? It may be different than you felt even five moments ago. So take a notice without judgment, meeting everything with kindness and compassion. Now gather it together your physical, your mental, and your emotional body. And then fully arrive on your mat, fully arrive on your practice and welcome yourself here. Welcome your breath now into your body. Notice those inhales, notice those exhales. As you notice the breath, just guide with it, flow with it, should I say, and let it guide you. Where does it go? In through the nose, down the throat, the chest, maybe the belly rises. Just take a moment to notice that rhythm, that flow. All the way back out of the body and all the way back in. Be a witness, notice what's happening, and just let it be natural. Throughout our practice, we're going to try to find slightly longer breath than this natural breath. We'll still keep it a nice, relaxed breath, but it's longer. It still feels deeper, but we're not pulling, we're not pushing. We're just finding a breath on inhales a little bit longer, and on exhales a little bit longer. when you find that flow, 
you're used to ujjayi breath and that sound that can come from the throat please feel free to find it now Allow your facial muscles here to relax as you really tune into this breath. Allow the rest of your body to soften a little bit more. Bringing your hands to your heart center, take a moment, find your breath and set your intention for your practice today. Maybe today you might Set the intention to release from you what no longer serves you in the physical, mental, or emotional bodies. Together, let's set the intention to practice with kindness. Kindness on and off the mat, in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions, our movements, and our deeds. Kindness towards ourselves and everyone else around us. Slowly lower your hands all the way down by your side. Continue to find that breath. Take a moment where you stretch both legs out if the knees have been bent. And as you inhale, reach your arms up and over, point through your toes. On exhale, slowly lower your hands all the way down. And inhale one more time, reach, point through the toes, reach it this time as you exhale, just release here. <sighs> inhale, reach and stretch. And exhale, hands all the way down by your side. Take a bend to both knees, plant your feet on the earth. And as always, we begin to move our bodies to our breath. Find your rhythm on inhale, where you reach your arms up and over. And on your exhale, where the hands come down by your sides. On your inhale, allow the breath to really fill into the chest, around the side body and the back. On the exhale, as you draw your arms down, draw your belly towards your spine a little stronger on the exhale. On every inhale, feel the body expanding, opening to receive. On every exhale, feel strong, feel grounded, feel secure. One more breath like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Pause. Take a moment to bring both knees towards the chest. Give a little rock here from side to side. Remember, if the knees don't come into the chest, they might be far away. You might just keep the feet on the ground, rock the knees from side to side. Anything here that suits you. Excellent. With the knees in, take one tight pull. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your forehead up towards your knees. As you inhale, lower, lower even the upper body all the way down. Plant the feet onto the earth. Pause here for a moment. And start to step your feet about hips distance apart. You can check that by just touching onto the heels to see if they're close enough towards your bum as well. We're going to come into a little bridge pose here. So set yourself up. But with the bridge pose today, we're going to bring the elbows at a 90 degree angle. So the backs of the arms are on the earth. And then a nice bend in the elbows. The fingertips point up towards the sky. Feet about hips distance apart. And on your inhale, push into the earth with both feet and the backs of the hands and lift your hips. As you exhale, slowly all the way to the earth. Two more times like that on your inhale, rise only as much as you're comfortable. And on your inhale, all the way down. Slow coming down on the exhale, I should have said exhale. On your inhale, reach all the way to the sky. And exhale all the way back and down. When the spine meets the earth, take a little pause. Excellent. Bring the knees back in towards the chest and take a little rock from side to side. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> if you know me, you know what that means. So from this position, we're going to open our knees out. So if this is too much having the knees up into the air, you can just keep the feet on the ground. You can open the hips here. 
You can have the feet on the ground, you can have the feet up in the air, whichever suits you for today. Wherever you are, you're going to take an inhale and a reach. On your exhale, you're going to touch, if your feet are on the ground, the inside of your thighs. If they're lifted, try to touch around your shins, knees or ankles. On your inhale, stretch. And on your exhale, bring them around if the legs are lifted, touch the outside. If they're down, touch the outside of your thighs. So we're going to start to flow as you inhale, reach back. And as you exhale, touch inside. As you inhale, lift back. As you exhale, come around, touch the outside. As you inhale, reach back. Option to add on, lift the upper body and touch. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, lift the upper body and touch. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, touch. Inhale, back. Exhale, touch. Remember if the legs are down, inhale back, exhale, you can still lift if you want, you don't have to, inhale back, and exhale, touch, three more, inhale back, exhale, touch, inhale back, exhale, touch, inhale back, and exhale, touch, let's go for the last one on the outside, inhale, back, and exhale, touch. As you inhale, reach it back, if the legs are lifted, slowly lower them to the earth, and just let the legs just kind of open out a little bit, you can butterfly the legs here, a little movement if you wish, and then slowly bring your hands all the way down, place your hands to the outside of the thighs, and draw the knees together. Take a moment to bring them in towards the chest, tight squeeze, inhale, lift the forehead on the exhale. As you inhale, come all the way down, plant your feet again about hips distance apart, set up for bridge pose. Again, if you want to touch the heels, do so, backs of the hands plant, kind of shimmy your shoulders and we're starting to open the chest here already. Belly in, make any adjustments that you need to. Push into the earth, fingers to the sky. On your inhale, reach. On your exhale, lower. Two more times, nice inhale. Lift in, maybe squeeze the bum. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lowers, pause, take a moment, and then softly bring the knees to the chest, a little movement if it's comfortable, and then take a little bit of side to side, or a little or two. We're going to go for just a few breaths this time, so set yourself up, whichever suits you now, legs on the ground, if you don't want to open the hips today guys, it's totally fine. Just do the outside of the legs. So whichever suits you, legs up, knees out, legs down, or legs together. We're going to take an inhale, reach. And on your exhale, either hands or hands and head lift. Inhale, down. And exhale to the outside. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Flow with the breath. One more. And the outside. Excellent. As you inhale, reach. As you exhale, lower the legs down. Let them just wing outwards. You give them a little wiggle, a little jiggle. And slowly hands all the way back down. Plant them to the outside of the legs, pause the movement, draw them together. Excellent, bring your knees towards your chest. 
and that's my idea of fun so thanks <laughs> so give your legs a little bit of movement now a little side to side a little circle or two we're coming all the way up onto a seated position so either roll onto your side or hands behind your thighs give yourself a roll or two or three to bring yourself to a nice seated position once you get there once you get into a seated position if you want to sit onto something please feel free if you want to sit onto a blanket you can sit cross-legged guys you can sit with the legs out in front you can sit back onto the heels i don't mind you can sit on a chair just get yourself nice and comfortable you can take that nice little bit of muscle away from the bum get the spine nice and long let's take an inhale and reach hands down as you exhale we're going to take a little sequence as you inhale reach side bend exhale center inhale opposite side exhale inhale this time reach it up bend your elbows open your chest exhale nice chest opener reach on inhale hands come all the way down on your exhale either to your hips or interlace inhale open the chest as you exhale you can fold or just tuck your chin maybe the hands lift if they're here same thing exhale release it all the way down shake it out we're just going to do that one more time nice and tall as you inhale reach as you exhale hands all the way down as you inhale reach it up side bend whenever you exhale reach on inhale tall spine side bend exhale all the way up chest open elbows bend squeeze the shoulder blades together reach on inhale hands all the way down exhale on your inhale hands either to hips or interlace open the chest inhale and as you exhale, you can fold or just tuck your chin in here. Elbows squeeze together. Inhale all the way up. And shake it out. Exhale. So we've done that in a seated position. Because that's going to help you later on. <laughs> Let's come all the way over onto your hands and knees when you're ready. If you wish, place your blanket underneath your knees, as I do, because I'm on tile floors. But I keep it quite um, thin so that it doesn't affect me when I roll onto the floor. So when you're here, as always, you might know by now a little bit of that self-inquiry. What does your body want to do? Forward and back, side to side. A little bit of movement here and there. Just move to your comfort. Flow with your breath. Take a nice, comfortable, steady breath. Connect with that breath and then connect in with your body a little bit more. Slowly begin to take a little pause. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Three rounds of cat cow. On inhale, tailbone and chest rise. On exhale, round the spine as you push the earth away. On your inhale, lift from the tailbone all the way up along the spine and round belly in, exhale. The last time you inhale, open the chest, tailbone lifts, push the earth away, strong hands. Opposite way, exhale, belly in, draw the chin into the chest. As you inhale, come back to a nice neutral spine. Tuck your toes under and as you exhale, come into your first downward facing dog. So your hands are rooted down into the earth, the bum is lifting up and back. And take a little bit of movement into those legs. You can bend one knee, stretch into the opposite leg, draw the opposite heel towards the earth. Just find a little bit of movement, a little bit of comfort. It's possibly the first time you're in an inversion today. So just be mindful if you ever feel dizzy, you can come to your knees, you can take a pause. Just one more breath here if you can. Really root into the fingertips, the pads of the hands, the space for the thumb and the index finger and where they meet. And slowly come all the way back down to the earth. 
Take a moment to either sit onto your heels or to sit up tall. Give your wrists a nice little bit of movement all the way up. And softly all the way back and down. Give them a little shake out. We're going to start to get into the hips a little bit more now. So coming down onto the hands and the knees. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders or a little bit further forward if you wish. So we're going to start with the left knee. Lift the left knee slightly up and like a dog peeing, we're just going to take it in two directions. The belly in nice and tight. Keep the bend of the knee the same. You're going to bring it out, back and down and then back, out and down. So inhale out, back and exhale down. Inhale up and out and exhale together. One more time. Inhale out and up. Exhale down. Inhale up, out. Exhale down. Lower that knee. Give the hips a wiggle. Stretch that same left leg all the way back. Push into the heel. Lengthen the spine and then inhale, reach and stretch as long as you can with the right hand. So we're not in a balance today, we're just in a nice stretch. Push into that left heel, lengthen all the way up towards the right fingertips, belly in. One more really long draw here. And exhale, hands and knees back down. A little bit of a wiggle. So you've seen what to do on the opposite side. So right leg is going to lift just very slightly as you inhale, knee out and up. As you exhale down, belly is in. Inhale up and out and exhale, knees together. Inhale out and up, a nice bend of the knee. Exhale down. Inhale up, out. Exhale down. Inhale out and up. Exhale together. Inhale up and out. And exhale, lower the knee down. Hips wiggle, jiggle, side to side. Step that right leg all the way back. Push into the heel. So you're really drawing your energy back so you get a nice stretch. And then from the belly, lengthen. Reach that left hand all the way up. Reach to the fingertips. Reach the heel all the way back. Belly in. Spine and neck nice and comfortable. We're not too rigid in the position. Push the earth away. Take another breath. Inhale. And exhale. Release your hand, release your knee. Hip side to side, tuck your toes under and lift it all the way back, downward facing dog, a little bit of movement. We're going to start to flow a little bit more on your inhale. If you're comfortable, come forward to your plank pose. So we roll up along the feet, belly in, spine long. As you exhale, knees down, elbows to the back of the room, soften. As you inhale, chest lifts. As you exhale, bum up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. As you inhale, roll forward to plank. As you exhale, knees down, elbows to the back of the room as you sink your thighs, your pelvis, your belly and your chest. Open up those shoulders, lift, inhale, surrender completely, exhale. Inhale, use your strength, lift your chest, push the ground away, downward facing dog. If you want, stay here, come to a child's pose, or we do that one more time. Inhale, rolls you forward to plank. Exhale to the earth, knees, bend your elbows, surrender. Your inhale, cobra pose, lift your chest a little higher, maybe elbows in tight, and exhale, release. Inhale, use that strength, push the earth away, bum up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Take a little moment, take a little movement. Take a nice long deep breath. I think that time I looked at the camera in, in Cobra was the first time I smiled during this practice. So I am actually happy to be here if I look really serious. I literally just thought, oh, why not smile a bit? So hi. <laughs> 
Maybe I was a little bit more nervous today or something. I hope you're smiling back at me as well. So a little bit of movement, guys. We're coming to the top of the mat. Look towards your hands. Walk, step, or hop any way you can get there. On your inhale, spine long, belly in. Bend your knees and your exhale, fold, surrender. Let's push the earth away now. As you inhale, reach and rise to the sky. As you exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a moment, pause, breathe. Feel grounded, safe and secure. Feel your breath, feel your heartbeat. Feel that tapas that we're building through the movement, the heat in our body to burn any impurities or anything that no longer serves us. That heat, that tapas that is something that pushes us, that drives us. Find it, feel it. And then notice the stillness. Take a moment to softly blink your eyes open and give yourself a shake out. As always, the shake out is one of the best parts of the entire class. So give it a nice little shake out. Legs, arms, hips, hands, shoulders, release everything. A little bit of nodding dog. And let's pause. If you wish to keep your block or to keep your blanket on the mat, please feel free. Um, just be mindful if you're stepping back because we will be coming into a lunge pose, so it might be a good idea. Let's come towards the top of the mat, guys. Let's get our flow on. Feet and hips, I say things and then I think, damn it, I'm on camera. Feet and hips, distance apart, lengthen towards the spine. We're coming into half sun salutations. Let's take a deep inhale and reach. Bend your knees as you exhale, fold forward. For those of you not wanting to bend the knees, that's okay. As you inhale, spine long. Bend your knees, exhale, fold. Push the earth away, inhale, rise. Hands to your heart, exhale. Make your moves as extravagant as you want. Inhale, reach. Bend, fold, exhale, belly in. As you inhale, that spine is long, chest is high. As you exhale, refold. Push the earth away, inhale, reach. Hands to your heart. Exhale, one more time. Reach and rise. Fold it down. Find that breath. Inhale and exhale. Push the earth away. Inhale, reach, rise. Hands to your heart. Exhale, take a breath in between. Inhale and exhale. One full sun salutation. Inhale, reach. Bend your knees, exhale, fold. If you don't wish to do a full, guys, there's no need. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, we step to plank. Hands down, step one leg, and then the opposite leg back. Inhale. As you exhale, lower to the earth, knees, chest, and chin, elbows back. As you inhale, lift your chest to cobra. Go only as high as your back is comfortable and surrender. Push the earth away. Come all the way up. Tuck your toes downward facing dog. Pause here. Three deep breaths. Bend your knees slightly. Lift your bum up and back and find the comfort. Breathe. Maybe your gaze is towards your knees or towards your toes. As you're here, notice the body. How does it feel? Where do you feel a stretch or a strength? What's happening in your body? Belly draws in towards the spine. Deep breath. On your next inhale, look towards your hands. On your exhale, step or hop or jump to the top of the mat. On inhale, spine long. Fold it down as you exhale. Push the earth away as you inhale, reach and rise. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Excellent. Give yourself a little bit of a shake out. 
This time we're going to step back into lunge. Feet at hips distance apart towards the top of the mat as you inhale, reach. Bend the knees, exhale, fold all the way through. Flat back on your inhale, chest nice and long. As you exhale, left leg is going to step back, left knee towards the earth. So get yourself steady and comfortable here, right knee stacked over the right ankle. You can go quite um, square here or get into those hips, bringing the front foot forward. Push the earth away as you get comfortable, inhale and reach all the way up. As you exhale, notice if you feel comfortable, hands come all the way down. If you need to adjust, do so. We've got that flow now, inhale, reach. Side bend, exhale. Inhale, reach, side bend, exhale. Inhale, reach, open the chest, bend the elbows, exhale, belly in, support the spine, reach. Exhale, hands all the way down. Interlace or hands on hips, open, inhale. You can lift the hands away if you can. And as you exhale, Upper body comes forward, chin tucks in, arms might reach. This also might look like this, and it also might look like this. Can you breathe here? Push the right leg strongly into the earth. Push and pull the left knee forward, so the right foot is pushing down and back, the left leg is pushing up and down, and then stronger with the legs to bring that upper body up. As you inhale, reach. As you exhale, both hands come to the earth. We're gonna walk both hands to the inside of that right leg. You just walk that right leg out a little bit. If you wish here, come down even further with the hips. Take an inhale and just look straight ahead. Pause here if you need to be up higher on fingertips or on a block, feel free. Just lengthen the spine, belly in, get nice and tall, allow the hips to release. Some people here like to come onto the knife edge of that right foot and allow the hip to open out a little bit. If that's for you, go for it. Be mindful of the knee. Take one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring that foot, plant it back down towards the center. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and find your way to downward facing dog, right leg back. You can take a little bit of movement here. Option to stay here, take a few breaths, bring the knees to the ground and take a few breaths or roll through a vinyasa with me. If you wish to do so, inhale, roll forward. On exhale, lower to the earth, knees down, elbows bend, softly release. Open your chest, inhale and surrender. Use the earth now, push the ground away, come all the way up, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. A little bit of movement here, a little bit of a stretch, and then we're going to pause, draw the left heel down into the earth, and inhale the right leg towards the sky. Open the right leg out to point your toes towards the right, and then take a bend to that right knee, as if you want to kick yourself in the bum. Maybe open the knee even wider. And then think about the shoulders. What's going to happen is your left shoulder is going to drop and you're going to try and look under. So try and square those shoulders up to get a really nice opening. And then the bend of the knee stays the same. And we start to open that hip out. Start to take little circles like you did earlier when you were on your hands and knees. You're pushing your weight into that left heel. And then pause, re-square the hips. Straighten the leg and lower it down. Give yourselves a little walk. If you had to come to your knees for that, don't worry. We were there for a long time. Inhale, look towards the hands. On exhale, walk the feet all the way up. Inhale, reach that spine nice and long. And as you exhale, refold. Push the earth away, reach and rise. Hands to your heart. Exhale, close your eyes, take a moment. Breathe. Notice the body, how it feels. Remind yourself if something doesn't feel good, there's no need to push it. Do whatever feels good in your body for today. Respect yourself. 
You are your own best teacher you will ever, ever have. Feeling grounded, safe and secure, blink your eyes open. Opposite side, inhale, reach. Bend the knees, exhale, fold forward. As you inhale, flat back. Right leg is gonna step back into the lunge, exhale. As your right leg steps back again, right knee towards the earth. Tuck or untuck the toes, you decide. Lift yourself all the way up. Remember, we're coming into a sequence, guys. So if you need to bring the leg back for stability or forward, less stability, but more of a stretch, you decide. Draw the belly in, squeeze the right bone slightly for more stability here. And we begin on our inhale to reach. On your exhale, hands out all the way down. Coming into two side bends now on inhale, reach. Side bend, exhale. Really steady with the legs rooting into the earth. Inhale, exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach it up. We're going to bend the elbows, open the chest, maybe look up. Inhale, reach, belly in, steady. And exhale, hands come all the way down either onto the hips or interlace behind. If they're interlacing, roll and open those ch the chest on your inhale. And on your exhale, push the earth away. Maybe you can tilt the chest forward. Maybe the hands can stretch up a little bit. Maybe the chin tucks in. Now you might also be here with just the chin tucked in and the arms stretching, or with the hands on the hips, elbows draw back together. I don't mind where you are once you can find a breath. Once you can have your breath, push the earth away. Take one more breath, be strong in those legs. We're not just dipping into them here. We're pushing them down into the earth. Strong to come all the way back up. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, both hands come to the inside of that left leg. To steady yourself up here, any movements that you need to, then walk that left leg out towards the side. Remember, you need blocks or you need to be higher here, that's totally fine. Allow your knee to come over your ankle, allow your hips to come down slightly, take a stretch. And then from there, look forward, get long, belly in. Remember, you might also be here or on fingertips. And if you want anyone who can come to those elbows, feel free. If you want to roll onto the knife edge of that left leg so the hip gets a nice opening in here as well, feel free, don't push on the leg, don't make it happen, just let it be natural and free. This is a nice opportunity to have a look at the camera, give us a thumbs up, have a little smile. Brenda, you made me smile today, I hope you've joined in. She only noticed that I had an Easter egg on my foot there a while ago. And she looked at the photo probably for the thousand time. Because obviously you'd look at a photo of me a thousand times. Slowly come all the way back into centre. Bum up. Walk that foot all the way in. Plant your hands. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Slowly glide yourself to downward facing dog. Take a moment. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Option to stay here, come to a child's pose and take a few breaths or flow through a vinyasa with me. On your inhale, roll forward to plank, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale to the floor, knees, bent elbows to the back of the room and soften. With inhale, chest is open, push the earth away, belly in. As you exhale, surrender completely. As you inhale, use your strength to push yourself all the way up and back, find downward facing dog. Give yourself a little movement. Now earth yourself to the earth yourself to the earth. Ground yourself down into the earth with the hands. Arms are strong, bum is back. Draw your right heel towards the ground as you inhale that left leg up. Stay here. Now lads, if you want to keep your toes on the floor, that's totally fine. Or if you feel okay, open that leg out towards the left. And then as if you're gonna kick yourself in the bum, draw your heel towards your bum. And you can stay here, keep opening out, and then think, you draw your right shoulder up a little bit because it's probably gonna collapse, so stay strong. And if you have it today, 
take little circles. So the bend of the knee kind of stays the same and the circles come from your hip. And then maybe go in the opposite direction. Still rooting that right heel towards the earth. It does not mean it's going to touch. Come back through to centre. Centre those hips. Straighten your leg and lower down. I hope you breathe. We're breathing through all of that. And then look towards the hands. Start to walk those feet inwards as you inhale, chest lifts. And as you exhale, surrender. Push the earth away, inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart center, close your eyes and take a moment. Coming back to the stillness all of the time. Reminding ourselves our yoga is not just a physical practice, but it's more about the breath, it's about the connection. It's about uniting your breath and your movements and your body, uniting yourself with yourself. This time in all of this isolation and everything else, it's such a good time for self-inquiry. Where am I? How do I feel? What's happening? Allow whatever to be there just to simply be there. No judgment. Pause, reflect, push the earth away with the feet, lengthen through your spine. Feel grounded, safe, and secure. Take a blink of the eyes and give yourself a nice little shake out. And really feel grounded, safe, and secure right now because we're going to have some fun. If you can, kick that blanket away. I promise this won't be a long one. Um, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> Remember, you can come to Shavasana at any time. Feet about hips distance apart towards the top of the mat. We're going to pause first and come into a nice little... Um, balance in tree pose. So draw your weight, draw your um, energy over onto the right leg as you slowly lift the left heel up. So as you do so, we're just going to open that leg out towards the side. So it will kind of look like this, maybe I'll mirror you guys. So either here, hands to your heart, you may also bring your heel towards your ankle. If you wish, the sole of the foot to plant onto your shin, that's fine. Try not to have it on the knee itself because it's where the foot wants to go, but if you do fall, it's quite dangerous. So onto the shin, and of course, if you're used to this, grab onto your um, ankle and draw it into the thigh. Squeeze everything together, belly in. You've got to be super strong in the legs. It's not just that we hang out here. Strong, we push down into the ground. So have your weight wherever you are, find your tree pose. The hip on the left side is opening, you're rooted through the right leg, we're tall in the spine, take a moment, take a breath. Remember all of those options, it doesn't matter which one you take today. Breathe. Pick a point to stare at, that's your drishti, your gaze point. Now guys, from here we're going to make our way back into a lunge pose. If you wish to come down and put your leg down and do so and come any way that you want to, feel free. If you want, lift that left leg out, bend your right knee as you slowly bring the left leg back and the chest forward. Slowly step it back, wiggle the leg, and remember, step back into this any way you want. Right knee now bends over the left and we take an inhale up. If this doesn't feel good in the body, bring that left knee to the earth or keep it lifted and slightly bent. Belly in, reach. Inhale, exhale, hands out all the way down. We're not doing the full sequence this time. We inhale and we reach. And when we exhale, hands are going to come all the way down, either to your hips or interlace behind. Inhale, open that chest long. On your exhale, see about bringing the chest forward and the hands lifted. Chin can come in. You might fall like me. Push the earth away strongly with the legs. We're not just releasing and collapsing here. We're strong. If the hands are on the hips, draw the elbows together, together so the chest opens. Take one breath. Inhale. And exhale. Can you come slowly? Back up into your tree pose. Knee comes forward first. Hands to your heart. Open your hip. Foot back onto 
whichever position feels comfortable. Remember, you could have stepped, jumped, hopped, fell, get here any way you want. Take a deep inhale, lengthen, and exhale, pause. Slowly lower down the left leg. As you inhale, rise. As you exhale, weight onto the left side. Maybe just lift the right heel, maybe open out that right hip, heel towards ankle, shin, or all the way up, if that suits you for today. Wherever you go, wherever you flow, pause, belly in, lengthen the spine. Find that drishti, that gaze point, pause, be there. Allow yourself just simply notice, notice the earth, notice the movement. It might be in a balance, but it doesn't mean everything isn't moving at the one time, chest open. We know where we're going from here. So get there any way that you wish. If you want, we bring the right knee forward. Soften the left leg, the standing leg, to bring your chest forward and to really slowly bring that right leg back. Bring it back as much as you wish and then you can shimmy it Right heel lifts towards the sky, left knee bends over left ankle. Remember, right knee can come down or keep it strong. As you inhale, reach. One time, exhale down. As you inhale, reach. This time, as you bring those hands down, either towards your hips or interlace behind. When you inhale, roll that chest open. And when you exhale, you can tilt from the hips. Maybe the chin comes in and lowers down. Squeeze the elbows together to get that opening or hands clasp. And all the way up. Even though it looks like you're collapsing here, you're not, you're strong. You push the ground away with the legs. Really steady. You should feel this on your left bum. And again, you might be up tall. It doesn't matter where you are. You do not have to go all the way down. Just be with the body wherever it is. Now you can come out of this any way you want, or you're going to inhale all the way up. You're going to be shaking, you're going to feel it on the left leg, and you're going to see, can you bring your weight forward? Can you glide? Can you step? Can you inhale to your tree pose? And can you exhale as you pause it? One inhale, and exhale. Slowly lower your right leg down as you inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Bend your knees as you exhale, fold forward. Flat back on your inhale. Softly make your way to plank on your exhale. On your inhale and plank. On your exhale, lower to the earth, knees, chest and chin. And this time, I'm going to open your chest up, bring your hands behind either onto your hips, by your side or interlace. Belly draws in, as you inhale, lift everything you can. And stay here for a breath or two or you can release on every exhale. Just think shoulders are lifted, hands stretching to their comfort and only to their comfort. Point your toes, one more breath in. As you exhale, release. Use your hands by your side. Push yourself all the way up and back. Toes together, knees apart. Sink your bum towards the earth. Remember, you might be up high. You might have your bum over the knees. Doesn't matter where you are, just be there. Release wherever you are. Allow the energies within the hips to release. Allow the back of the heart to open here to stretch. Take another breath. Your inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Bring your knees to touch, swing your legs out and roll yourself all the way onto your bum. Bring your bum to the center of the mat. 
and slowly lower yourself all the way to the earth. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up, point and stretch. As you exhale, surrender. As you inhale, hands down by your side. Bend your knees and softly bring them into the chest. Take a little wiggle, a little jiggle, a little movement from side to side. Plant both feet down about hips distance apart. Snuggle your shoulders in. Backs of the arms touch the ground. Push into the feet, fingers to the sky. And then just one time we're gonna pause for just two nice long breaths up there. So on your inhale, push into the earth, lift your hips, and if you can, pause. Breathe on your exhale here, root into the feet, squeeze the bum, push the backs of the hands down as if you're tucking your shoulders, the shoulder blades in a little bit, open the chest even more. Keep looking towards the sky, keeping the neck nice and safe and nice and comfortable. One more breath if you can. Whenever you exhale next, we slowly and gently release to the earth. Once the hips touch, you can release the shoulders out a little bit. Let the spine just meet the ground. And then bring the knees to the chest. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lift your forehead up towards your knees. And as you inhale, all the way back and down. Give those knees a little bit of a twist, a little bit of movement side to side. Circle a little bit. Excellent. Gently start to just slow everything down. Circle them in the opposite way. Take one more squeeze, inhale. As you exhale, lift your forehead all the way up. And on your inhale, to the earth. Coming into your Shavasana position. Remember today, if you wish to invert your legs, come all the way over to the wall and then lift your legs up along so that they get nice and long on the wall. You can pop something underneath your sacrum if you want or just be here. So that the legs don't have to do anything, the arms don't have to do anything, they can fall out, bend your elbows, whatever feels good, or regular Shavasana, blankets, lie yourself down. Find a space and a place of comfort for you. You really do deserve it. Take a moment for you settle yourself onto the mat or into your inversion. Allow your whole body to rest. Let's together take one deep and long inhale just like we started. Pause at the top, open your mouth, exhale, release it out. Let your body surrender even more. Allow your entire back body, your shoulders, your upper, mid and lower back to sink into the earth. The backs of the arms, elbows, hands, melting downwards. Notice the back of the head as it draws into the earth a little more. And then let it completely release. Feel a softening. And allow that softening to flow over onto your forehead your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth and jawline soft, relaxed. Even your neck, your 
your chest, to your ribs and belly, your hips, your legs and your feet, soft, relaxed. Allow your body to feel light. In this practice, we're thinking of energies and my airy fairy side being light. Released emotions and tensions that we build up in our bodies and allow them to lie in our hips. As we've released any built up emotions, anything that no longer serves us, we've also made space in our heart center to invite love and kindness in as we release whatever no longer serves us with love and kindness as well. If something or someone or a thought isn't for us right now, doesn't mean it always wasn't. So release these things with kindness and with love. And let your whole body release to that thought. Soften and relax even more, knowing that what you bring in and what you give out and what you release is all done with love and with kindness. So soften your whole body, melt into the earth. Gently invite your breath to deepen as you move fingers and toes and wrists and ankles. Take a moment to stretch out your body in any way that feels good for you. If your legs are in the wall, softly bring your knees to your chest. Wherever you are, hug your knees in tight. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today. Find love, kindness, and gratitude for yourself. You deserve it. You are amazing in all of your ways, in every way that makes you the person you are right now. Be grateful for yourself. In your own time, roll onto your side and slowly come to a seated position of your choice. Take a moment when you get there to sit tall with a tall spine with your eyes closed. And bring your hands towards your heart center. Take a moment to just feel, be present, be aware of your physical, mental and emotional body. Notice your breath as it softly flows in and out. And take a moment to just feel fully connected with you, with every single part of you. On an inhale, let's reach and stretch towards the sky. Hands to your heart center as you exhale. Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may my thoughts, deeds, and actions in some way contribute to their happiness and freedom. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me again. <laughs>